is amazing. Now we are going to see the future of interviews using AI. How the interviews are going to change. So if you see a interview process, which is what we see now, the manual process is to prepare questions for the interview based on the particular expert area, then schedule a time for the interview, interview the person and finally create a report. What if we can automate all of this? Now we have the AI interviewer. I'm going to click start chat. And here is my first question. Hi, welcome to our interview. I am the interviewer for this technology company and I will test your AI skills. Next, I will generate questions for interviews. I'm going to respond saying OK and click enter. Now it says let's begin the interview. Here is the first question. Can you explain five point scoring system for evaluating responses to users queries? And here I'm providing the answer and clicking enter. Now it reviewed the question and says great job. You summarized five point. Now it's going to the next question. Even if I don't know, I can skip the question by saying skip. Sure, moving to the next question. Then I can even say I don't know. I can even ask explain this question in more detail and it's explaining me in more detail. And I'm providing the answer and the final question. I'm going to say I don't know. That's it. Now I automatically received a Slack message from the AI interviewer which gave me a report. Performance report. Total questions. Total questions 5, correct answers 3, incorrect answers 2 and final score. This is completely automated and I don't even need to provide any questions. How can you build this system? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about the future of interviews using DeFi. It is a no-code solution where you can build generative AI apps with advanced open source stack. You are able to create chatbots, AI assistants, integrate with external knowledge base, end-to-end -end workflows, build autonomous AI agents, and much more. In this, we are going to see how to set up. In this, we are going to see how to set up DeFi locally on your computer. Next, how to integrate that with Grok, how to integrate that with Olama, and finally create AI interviewer using the DeFi workflow. As we have seen before, for a manual interview. It takes loads of time to prepare questions, schedule a time, interview the person and finally create a report. But using AI interviewer, you are able to automate preparing questions, automate the time for interview and it could be in any time, asks relevant questions and finally generate the report automatically and you can send that to your own email or Slack or Teams and you name it. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can create a workflow like this. It's a no code solution using DeFi and use it for your own use case. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. You can directly go to DeFi.ai website. There you can get started even without setting it up locally on your computer. You can get started for free, but by using Mervin Prezna's code, you can get 20% off for a limited time. Thanks to DeFi for sponsoring this video. So the first easiest option is to use their own portal, sign in, and then you can create all your workflows here. But if you want to deploy this locally on your computer, this is completely open source. So you can go to their GitHub repo and run it yourself. To do that, first in your terminal, git clone and the GitHub URL, and then click enter. Next, navigate to the DeFi folder. So inside that folder, you have a folder called Docker. To do this, you need Docker installed on your computer. You can directly install Docker by going to docker.com and download from this download link. After doing that, in the same terminal, docker compose up hyphen D and then click enter. This will automatically start all the required containers. To confirm if it's running, just type docker ps and then click enter. There you can see all the list of containers running. If you are using Mac, just a note, by default, Apache is running, so you need to stop Apache. To do that, just type sudo apache ctl stop and then click enter. This will ask for your password, which will stop the Apache server automatically. Only after that, you will be able to perform docker compose up hyphen D. Just a note. Now we are going to open our browser. Now I'm in localhost and then you can sign up for an account. Now this is completely locally running on your computer. After signing in, you will have an interface like this where you have various options. So here the option I'm going to choose. 
So here the template which I'm going to choose is AI Frontend Interviewer. Just click Add. I'm going to rename this as AI Interviewer and then Create. Now you can see it got created. So we have completed the step of setting up DeFi locally. Now next step we need to integrate that with Grok and Olama. How can you do that? Just in your settings panel, there is an option called Model Provider. There you have various different models which you can try like Gemini, Cohere, Anthropic, Together, Open Router, Grok and also Olama. To set up Grok, you can go to Grok Cloud, click Setup, then provide the API key and then save. Now I have saved the Grok API key. Similarly, you can do it for Olama and Add Model. There you can provide the name of the model, the base URL. That is the port number 11434. So you can see the port number here. And this is your local IP address, which you can find by typing ifconfig for Mac, ipconfig for Windows, or you can find it from your Wi-Fi settings. I'm also providing my OpenAI API key for text embeddings, but that is optional. You can even use Olama for embeddings and many other free models for embeddings. But for a quick demo, I'm setting this all up. Now go to the studio. The final step of creating the AI interviewer is going to happen now. So in the studio section, we seeing the AI interviewer, which we have just created, but this is a chatbot, but we want it as a workflow. That's because we want to send notification once after the interview completes. So I'm going to click this and there's the option to switch to workflow orchestrate. Click that, I'm going to give the same name and click start switch. And now I got the interface like this, start LLM. Here I can choose the large language model I want to use. For some larger context, I'm going to choose 3.5 Turbo 16K for now. Next, we need some if condition, which I need to add here. Click and if else. So in the condition, I'm going to say, if the LLM text contains interview finished, if the condition is true, go to another LLM, which I'm going to choose Grok Llama 370B and then move this accordingly. Next, if else, then I'm going to move that to the answers section. So if the condition is true, that means if the interview completes, then the large language model is again going to come into play and going to create a report and we need to send that to Slack. Now we need to go to api.slack.com slash apps. There you can create your own app. Now it's asking from scratch or from a manifest. I'm going to choose from scratch. I'm going to give a name, AI interview, pick a workspace and create app. Then you're going to choose incoming webhooks and activate that. At the bottom, click add new webhook to workspace. Then it will ask which channel to post. I'm choosing the general channel and allow access. Now it's success. Now we, you will have a dedicated web URL hook. I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to click the plus button here. There you have the built-in tool. Then choosing Slack from the option. And here it asks for Slack incoming web hook URL. That's where I'm going to paste my URL. After that, at the top, it's asking to type slash and I'm going to provide the output from LLM2. That is the output from Grok, Llama 370B. Now it's all ready. So the output from the second large language model with the final report will be sent to Slack. Now we need to add system prompt for Llama2 or LLM2 and the context. And I'm going to ask you to save it in the memory. Just to make this tutorial quicker, I've quickly done a few of the prompts and all the context required. The context is the LLM and providing the context here and provide the system prompt. Give me a report on the performance of the latest interview. Similarly, for the first large language model, I'm providing a knowledge retrieval and also providing the knowledge as the context. And I'm providing a detailed prompt, asking five questions in total, ask one by one, immediately give the feedback. Finally say interview finished. So this will automatically trigger the condition and send the message to Slack. So the final step I want to show you is how you can convert a normal data into questions. So to do that, I'm adding knowledge retrieval. So in order to add the data in this knowledge, go to the knowledge tab at the top, they create knowledge. Then I'm going to upload a file, browse, I'm attaching a text file. So the text file contains information about self-rewarding language models. It's a paper and I've converted all this into text and then uploaded it there. You can even directly upload a PDF if you want to. Next, I'm going to click next. It's asking if I want to embed high quality or economical. That means using a local model. I'm going to choose high quality for now. Automatic, you have re-ranking. I'm just going to keep everything as default and click save and process. Now I can see the embeddings got created and stored in the database. Now go to the documents and you can see the document here. 
So now going back to the studio and going to the AI interviewer workflow. Now I'm adding the knowledge. That's the extracted text and add. Now the knowledge got added and everything is ready. Now I'm going to click publish, update, and then publish, run app. Now I'm in the AI interviewer chat URL. You can even send this URL to anyone. So I'm going to click start chat. So here you can even add furthermore configuration, such as asking the user's name and other details to verify those things. Then same as before, I'm going to answer for these questions quickly. Okay, now it's beginning the interview process. I'm going to quickly skip all the questions. Would you like to try answering again? No. Next question, I don't know. And similarly skipping just for our test purpose. And now I completed the five questions and now it sent me a report. And here is my final report. Let's summarize the performance of the last interview. So incorrect answer, question three. Skipped question four and five, unsatisfactory overall performance. This is amazing. Now you are able to create your own interview chatbot, which can automate the process of interview. I believe this is going to be the future. Everyone's on the LLM hype train, but when you actually start building LLM apps, you find that it's not as easy as it seems. Leading developers choose DeFi, an open source platform built for production ready AI apps A user-friendly interface makes it easy for everyone. Rag Engine lets you import private data, connect different tools, whether you're validating an idea or building robust enterprise-grade AI solutions. Defy helps you do it faster and easier. Choose any LLMs you want, embedding, free rank, and multimodal models. You can create an agent and launch it as a public website or develop it using APIs in just a few minutes. And the best part is, you can create AI workflows to handle more complex tasks, generating reliable outcomes. Soon, you'll even be able to call agents and workflows as tools in another workflow. Well, sir. You can debug and publish your workflow, view logs at every step, port it to a DSL, and, sh what? and share it within your team or the DeFi community including thousands of developers from individuals to Fortune 500s. Say my name. DeFi, do it for you. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.